Hi everyone, Lisa here from Forest City Stitching. Hope everyone had a good week. This will be a lot quicker of a video than my stitch mark recap from last week. Thank you everyone um, that watched and commented. Um, yeah, we had a, a great time. Okay. Yeah, so not too many whips to look at uh, today because um, I worked on particularly one uh, for multiple days for most of the week. Um, yeah, nothing too exciting here. It's cool today. I think it's going to warm up in the next couple days again. I'm going to get cool again. Um, we had a really good Halloween. It was very warm. Excuse me. Perfect trick-or-treat weather for parents that are having to walk around with a child. Um, yeah, and then we did, we only bought like a box of 50 chocolate bars um, to hand out because we're not usually at the house during prime trick-or-treaters. And so my son was very eager to hand those out and he was very generous. So we had pretty much gone through the whole box within 10 kids. Um, apparently he was handing out like four little mini chocolate bars per kid. So when we got back, we didn't have any chocolate left. And then he proceeded to, proceeded to open the door still. Um, and then so we had to give out his candy, uh, because that's all we had. Um, but he is very generous and was okay with that. So. Don't worry, we still have lots of candy left. We are not missing out by any means. But yeah, that was how our Halloween was. And here we are in November. Um, I did take, you'll see these um, when I get them back, but I did take a couple items to Chops Framer. Um, and I think overall it was fairly reasonably priced. Um, again, I'll talk more once I pick them up. Um, but yeah, I just took a couple smaller items to get framed there. Um, they said probably three weeks for the one and then two weeks for the other. So I said, just call me when they're both ready. Uh, yeah, but we'll talk more about that at a later time. Let's get into the stitching. Actually, I have a little bit of haul. I had done, or I had ordered a couple charts from Facebook Marketplace, um, and they arrived when I returned home last week, or this week, I should say. Carlo's in having a little bit of a snack, and boy, he did not understand the time change at all for sure so this was one of the patterns assembly required so this it says um it uses the dmc variation variations um cotton floss uh 4072 i was at michael's today and i could not find that so i'll have to do a little bit more searching for that um, I got Bony Bunch from Plum Street. Like these charts are in excellent condition. So obviously the person had made a working copy. Um, Fox Few by Plum Street. And then Starbucks by Plum Street as well. Okay. The one I worked the most on was the Friendship Sampler. No, nope, I was right the first time. I have two pieces in, in this bag. So Friendship Sampler by Maximum Cross Stitch. I added 1,250 stitches to this, 
And that's how this one's looking. So we got a lot of stuff going on now. Um, I did buy some more ochre when I was at Stitch Noir. That dye lot is obviously a bit different than the dye lot I was using for this. But then I found another older skein of ochre that I moved into this um, floss ring. So I will use that moving forward uh, because I don't have enough. I didn't have enough of the old skein to finish even that box. So, so the newer old skein will be put to work. Welcome to the North Pole by Primrose Cottage came out. This is such a bright piece. And that's how that one's looking. Fold that up a little bit. There we go. The door's open enough, Arlo. You can get it. So this was one of my bake off pieces and now that person is has been eliminated so it won't get any more work so it'll go away. What is happening here? Just a Change my month here in the planner. So Friday and so Friday I started working on Winter Joy, which is a small ornament, and I ended up finishing that yesterday. So that's what that one looks like. And yeah, it's a pretty good crease in the middle there, so hopefully we can get that out. <laughs> I'll just fold this another way. There we go. Um, but when I put it in my under the bed box, it won't need to be folded. Um, so yeah, I finished that ornament. It was um, one of my on my whip goes. Uh, one of my whip goes called for October. Um, finishing that did give me a diagonal whip go, so now I'm not worrying about whip go at all. <laughs> Typically, that's how whip go goes for me. Once I get one whip go, then I kind of abandon it for the rest of the year. Um, but I think overall, we got a lot of progress on a lot of things. Um, I did start to make a new board for next year. Uh, I did have to make that from scratch because I can't use Excel anymore on my Mac. Um, so I don't know how my husband had it working before, but apparently whatever workaround or possibly pirated version we're using is no longer. So, um, yeah, so I found another version for sheets. Um, it doesn't look obviously the same as the board I've been using for, um, you know, the last four years or whatever, but that's all right. But that board, there's going to be a lot of finishes on it, actually. Um, not necessarily intentional, but looking at some of the pieces like that I have on here that were like a thousand stitches, um, like the Zimmerman Covillet, it's pretty close to having the portion I want done, done. So I've changed that to a finish. Um, what else? Uh, 
Uh, Holly Jolly Farm is probably close enough to a finish, so I changed that to a finish. Home for Christmas, I changed to a finish. Garden Cat, I changed to a finish. So we might have a lot of like larger finishes next year, possibly. We will see. So yeah, so I got that done, and I was targeting to get something finished uh, because I wanted to start. This is a sell through Velvet Ponies Patreon. I don't have a cover to show you at all, but the first portion is this. Goes like this. <laughs> I had to pick up a couple more colors. See, and that's not even really what I want. Okay, it'll be fine. They're, they were out of the one DMC color, so I got the one that was next to it because that's how I roll when I'm substituting, and I know that's not accurate by any means. But um, So this is the first start of the sal. I think it just goes for the month of November and is a release every week. Um, in addition to this, it's going to be a present, is also a tree, let's say two little trees um and uh cardinal so that was like 200 stitches so not huge releases um but yeah i wanted to get that started to see if i could possibly keep up we'll see again no pressure because come december there's gonna be lots of sales going on that I'm like probably not going to be able to keep caught up with. That's okay. There's that. And then what I'm working on for 750 stitches is Rule of Life. Really got a lot of progress on this because I spent most of my evening last night when I was supposed to be stitching on this, um, looking up quotes that I could replace this with. Because I think I'm going to replace that. That's how this one's looking, and this is where I was working. I think this fabric is Vintage Country Mocha. I think so. And yeah, that is all I was working on this week. I did attend a Zoom or a Google Meets meetup with Karen the Stitching Owl. Um, she was hosting that for our Canada Swaps. Uh, so it was really nice to meet some of the ladies that participated in that. I got to meet um, Manvir who um, stitched my small that I received. Um, so that was really nice. Um, yeah, and I was working on that little ornament um, at that time. And then I just continued working away after it ended to get that finished. Yeah, so I don't think anything too exciting is happening next week. I didn't go for a run today because my running group, most of them are in Vegas doing the rock and roll marathon there and it was pretty cool this morning um yeah not next friday but the friday after the pd day but yeah nothing too exciting at all um which is fine my boss is back to work tomorrow so that is good um she chimed in over email about one little thing that didn't matter um while she was off um, to someone else, um, but didn't chime in <coughs> about any of the other craziness that was happening in her absence. So um, that must mean that she thought we were handling everything just fine. So that's good. Yeah, it was one of those, it was two weeks of everything that could be difficult was difficult. Yeah, uh, so 
glad to have her back uh, tomorrow for sure. All right. Well, I hope everyone has a good week and we'll talk to you next week.